So I like to add uh, two sentences, which we were rehearsing today, of course, and uh, Geoffroy uh, met his great line, and he said, I love you guys, you know, the great curator of his brain and the artist. <laughs> <laughs> Full stop. Okay. <laughs> Full stop. Yeah. So never mind. So, well, my name is, uh, Ooh, my artist's name is Ulai. Fra uh, Frank Lubos, of course, we are old friends. We know each other since 20 years, longer, longer. Yeah. And we have been in our two careers as an artist and decorator, and an organizer of a foundation who was uh, heavily engaged in working six years for the uh, realization of the Great World Walk which I did with Marina Bramwich together in 1988. Uh, he has hang out his neck uh, to make it real, which is, I'm, I'm entirely grateful to him, of course, for this. We will talk later about it. But I'd just like to introduce, <coughs> or just like to mention, now we will use no images at all, because we try to deliver the whole sensation by word of mouth. And I hope we succeed. Uh, <coughs> I just want to give a brief account on my uh, recent works of working. Uh, I have been based in Amsterdam for 42 years, of which 18 years with Marina Abramovic together. Marina lives in New York, and I decided after some time to leave Amsterdam for, you can't believe it, Ljubljana and Slovenia. So I'm now based in Ljubljana, Slovenia, where I have uh, established a foundation. The foundation is called For the Love of Water. Now, as the, the title of the foundation says already, For the Love of Water, uh, having done for a long time performance works, body-oriented works, body art, body language, however you like to call it, um, this was performance. At one stage, of course, you get older and you have to uh, begin to reconsider to use different means, not to become silly in front of the audience, unless you do Bhutu theater, of course, which is another challenge to do, but I'm much too young for that one. So I was, I was thinking about how I could refine body and art and everything to something else. And I came to the conclusion, of course, like everybody knows, our body consists of for about 70% of water, and uh, water is life-supporting, life-nourishing, not only for us, but for all living organisms on Earth asides that the Earth is a water planet, and spectacular or arguable or not, life has sprung out of water, which is called the primordial soup. Now, in about 2004, <coughs> during my professorship at the, uh, the HFG University in Karlsruhe, which is connected to the ZKM, which is a tremendous important new media platform and laboratory, I uh, started to meditate with my students about water. Well, it's familiar to everybody, that's a good thing. Water is familiar to everybody, but when you really get into it, then it becomes, it turns something else. Now, I have asked myself questions like, um, I address water by saying, waters on earth and above, what are your secrets in no secrets? What is your consciousness? What is your memory? What is your color? What is your motion? What makes you die? That were like mantras, you know the common sense of mantras, when you meditate you get a mantra and you repeat and repeat and repeat it and hopefully at the end you forget about it. But you have changed. Well, these were my mantras, actually, which I have addressed to the question about water. The question about water is a very tricky one. If you Google now or you pound on Google search engine only the term drinking water, you get in 0.8 seconds, that's less than one second, about 34 million references. So you rather be careful not to drown in the subject. I have learned swimming in the meanwhile, but still, it is, you know, it can go in all directions. Anyhow, I have established this foundation in Slovenia, which is a very beautiful country <coughs> with great water resources. And my aim at the moment is to spend the next two or three years to establish the first earth water catalog. 
That means I want to bring all earth water and earth water related topics into perspective. And that I like to do through the artful eye. That means I will address hundreds, maybe thousands of artists around the world of all orientations, of all media, to submit to a special made website their perspective on water. Because I want to make water beautiful. In popular media, like printed or televised, water is mostly approached in a cynical way. Bad news. The big world organizations like the United Nations, the World Health Organization, the World Bank, the World Water Forum, the World Water Council, they publish statistics, graphics and numbers. That doesn't make water more beautiful. I believe that approaching the international worldwide art community and make them submitting and contributing works about water, literally, or associated issues about drinking water I'm talking about, not salt water. I, we, collectively, eventually can achieve an image of water which would please many more people, which would make many more people appreciating water, valuing water differently and think differently about water. Okay, that's what I'm up to at the moment, uh, from performance to water. And now we're getting into our uh, unrehearsed discussion. <laughs> Thank you.